Creating WP data tables from Excel files. Uh, Microsoft Excel, as all of you know, is a living software for tables, spreadsheets, um, everything related to tables and calculations. And of course, uh, WP data tables wouldn't be a fully functional tool if it wouldn't support Excel format, which is which it does. Uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a WP data table created from existing data source and data source will be, of course, an Excel file in this case. Uh, first of all, I would like to show you this uh, file example that I prepared for this tutorial. You can also download it from our site to follow the steps in this tutorial and to see for yourself how it works. So it has uh, five, uh, five columns, country, city, client, amount purchased and total. So three first columns are strings. Uh, this one is an integer column and this one is a currency or a float column. Uh, we, it has some something like, yeah, it has 100 of rows plus the header row. So 101 row in total. One very important thing that I need to mention when working with Excel files, when you're adding uh, WP data tables from uh, creating WP data tables from Excel files as data source, there is a certain limit of rows or cells that you can use. It's not derived from the plugin itself, but uh, from the logic how it works because when you create it from uh, an Excel file, each time the page is loaded, it's reading this Excel file, uh, which is an expensive operation. And if it's like 200 of rows, 300 of rows, it's no problem because it's, uh, it will be read pretty quickly. But if it's several thousands of rows, or I don't know, 20 thousands of rows or more, uh, it can take really long on the server side to read the Excel file and it can take really long on the client side later to render this table and all the functions of the table like sorting, uh, filtering, pagination will be pretty slow or even can crash on some servers, for example on shared hostings which do not have a lot of memory. So please keep this in mind when working with Excel files that it's better not to uh, have more than 200, 300 of rows, maybe a couple of thousands maximum. But uh, everything which is more than that should be migrated to MySQL and used uh, with server-side processing feature enabled. Uh, WP Data Tables has a table constructor feature which allows importing Excel files or CSV files to MySQL without any problems. So. Uh, if your data set is large, you should consider using this feature. Okay, so let's move on with the tutorial. Uh, first step is, of course, to prepare the file which we already did. Uh, then we should go to our WP data tables backend and add a new WP data table. Or you can do it here, like WP data tables, add from data source. Uh, let's call our table Excel example. Uh, we want to show the table type on the front end and the table type will be Excel file, of course. Next step is to upload the file that we prepared. So we click upload file, we see media library. We already have some tables here, but we are going to uh, go ahead and uh, upload our example file. It's uploaded and then we just click use in WP data table. So now the, uh, the table, the Excel file is uploaded and ready to use in the table. Uh, we will not touch these settings for now, just click save. So right now you see there are no columns yet because uh, WP data tables didn't read the column structure for now, but when we click save, it's reloading the page because uh, it read the file it read the column structure and it prepared the column blocks for us, as you can see. So here, all five of our columns, uh, country, city, client, amount purchased and total. 
probably noticed, it already guessed uh, the column types that we have. So first one is string, second string, third string, but the last ones, this one, it uh, decided it's float, but actually it should be an integer as well. Sorry. Amount purchased. The amount purchased should be an integer. And the total is a float. So we can save the settings and already see how the table will look. For this, we just need to click on the preview button. So you see it rendered the table, uh, already added the uh, filters, and we have all the values from our table, just that it's sorted by the first column uh, in alphabetical order, which we didn't have in the Excel file. If we disable sorting, we will see the rows in the same order. So basically that's it, table is ready for usage, just let's add some more fine tuning, which will be, uh, I guess, for country, it would be much nicer to have the filter as a select box. Uh, for client and for city, let's leave it as strings. Uh, for amount purchased, let's have the filter type as number range. For total, let's have a number range as well. But also because the total stands for currency and it, uh, uh, it has dollar sign here in Excel, but it didn't have a dollar sign in the table preview. We can fix this easily with display text before on op option. So we just add the dollar sign here, save this, and click on preview once again. So you see we now have the dollar sign the sorting for total column still works correctly, but we also have this nice drop down here so we can filter by country. Okay, so now the table is prepared, and there are several options of how we can now use this on our poster page. First is to copy this short code from here and use it on the page, but there is even a better option. We don't even need to copy anything and to remember anything. We just we just can remember the table title that we have here. And then we can go and add a new page or a new post, whatever. I will add a new page. I will call it Excel example. And uh, you see that we have these two buttons here. Insert the WP data table and insert the WP data chart. So we don't need to remember any short code. We just can click on this button here. First, we need to place uh, the first. We need to place the cursor uh, where we want to put our table. So here is the Excel demo table. And then we click this button, and we just go down to our Excel example table. Click OK, and it inserts the short code for us. We just need to go ahead and publish. When the page is published, we just go view page and here you go, once uh, it's still loading, but once it loads, we will see our Excel table. Just a couple of seconds more, it's loading some, okay, it's loaded. So here you go, not very complicated, you just need to prepare the Excel table, uh, upload it, do some settings, which is optional, you don't need to configure any filtering if you don't need it. Insert in the poster page and you're ready to go. Purchase WP data tables exclusively on Code Canyon.